Hey everyone and welcome to another Kirby video. In the last video we had a look at the blocks fields and I showed you how to create custom snippets for each of your block types to control the HTML that is being generated for each block. In this video I want to show you how to create your own custom block or your own custom block type. This is how the, the field looks and this is how the output looks so far. Uh, we haven't styled anything. This is really just about creating the proper HTML for us and then styling would come in the next step. And in our blueprint, it looks like this. So the only thing that I changed from the default settings so far in the last video was this pretty option, which helps a bit by de uh, with debugging because it stores our content for the blocks field in this pretty um, passable or human readable um, JSON format. And is, this is helpful when you get started with the blocks field because then you can better see what is being stored here and yeah, how you would go on with the content that is in there. But going back to the blueprint, what I want to do now and what I want to show you as a first step is how to specify which kind of block types are available. Because so far we haven't set anything here and that means that all our built-in block types are available. In a panel, if you click on the add button, you will see it is the full list of block types. And in some cases, or in many cases, you might not need all those block types or you don't even want to offer all those block types to your editors. So um, they might not um, sh they should not be allowed to add a code block or a gallery block, for example. And we can control all of this in the blocks field settings. To do that, we can use the field set, uh, field sets option. And that field sets option is a list of field sets that should be available. And the list is, for the list, we can simply use all the types that are available and list them here by name. So for example, in our case, this would be the heading um, block type, the text block type and the image block type. This is exactly what we have so far set up in our blocks field, heading, text and image. To know which kind of block types are available by default, you can go to our docs and look, look it up there in the blocks fields um, documentation or if you want to have a quick look at it in your own installation you can go to the Kirby folder to config and then in blocks there are all the default blocks that are available and you can use the folder names for your list to switch them on or off. So this is great because now not all the block types are available if I click on add, you can see it's only the three that I just listed. And I can also decide the order which those block types have in the list here. This is sometimes also useful. If you don't want to order them alphabetically, you might have a special order by how often a block type is being used. You can do this with the, um, defining the lists in this way. But as a next step, I want to create my own block type. And as a demo example, I chose an accordion. Let's create an accordion. What I have to do now is to create a new type here um, and add it to the list. And we can do this by defining a type. So that would be accordion. And then add additional options to it. A block type always needs fields. So let's add a couple fields. Or in this case, just one field. Because what I want to do is I want to build a details and summary HTML accordion. Um, and for this, the best way to, to, to do this is by using the structure field. So I'm creating a field called items with the type structure. The structure is a repeatable field which has its own subfields. So it's a bit of nesting here, but I think it should still be pretty easy to understand. And for each item in my structure field, I want to define uh, a summary. And for that, I use a simple text field. And I also want to add some details. And for that, I'm using a simple text area. We can switch off the buttons for that one, just to keep it even more tidy. And then this is basically our setup that we need for the accordion block type. Going 
back to the panel and reloading it. We can inject it everywhere we want. Let's just put it here below the text block and you can see it now appears. Kirby automatically um, turned my new type here into the label for the block and it also chose a custom icon for it. And if I click on it now, my new block type is being added and the draw in immediately opens. I'm getting to that in a second. So now I can see my items field here and I can start adding items. So that would be maybe something like bit of content, here we go. So now you can see this would be really easy to extend. It is the perfect example for maybe something like FAQs or additional context for your um, for an article um, could easily be handled like this and you can add more items to it later. You can sort items with the st structure field. The field itself is really cool for such repeatable content. As you as we close the drawer and you see this now here, um, Kirby added this as a plain block. This is now really visually a block. It's not representing the items that I just added. It's really just showing the label or the block type here to me. And this is the most simple way to add a new custom block, but just putting it in like this. And then we can still drag it around like the other blocks and we can still edit it and go back to the drawer. And this is totally fine for a lot of block types because it is just great, especially if you have a lot of content in there, if our accordion would now grow and um, it would have a lot more items. We might not even want this to be in our list of blocks, but um, with Kirby 4, there's now a new option to actually show the fields that we define directly in this list. We can do this by going back in here and below the type, we can create a new option called preview and we can switch the preview to fields. What does this do? It shows my items field directly inside my block preview. And so now this is becoming a lot more visual. I already see the items I have in there, but I can't edit them yet because this is still just only a representation of the fields that are in there. It's just a preview of the fields. To edit them, I still have to click here and edit them in the drawer. But I can change that and I can make it um, immediately editable. And what we use for that is the what you see is what you get option and we can set that to true and that would switch our field preview to what you see is what you get so you can instantly edit the items here in the list you can create new items immediately inside here and it is becoming a lot easier to edit and to work with so it depends on what you like best for some um, block types for some custom custom block types it might be um, nicer to actually not show the fields in here because especially when they get longer it might be too much. For some block types you might want to show the fields fields in here. And of course this can be extended. You can have more than just the items field. You could create additional fields maybe for custom class names or additional attributes for your block. Or blocks like this, custom blocks, can just be completely um, different types. For example, if you think about a contact form or if you think about maybe something like um, a call to action button list or um, products, product placement inside rich text, all of this is possible with those custom blocks. Okay, this is great. So now our custom block is stored and I want to show you how it is stored. Let's go back to the content, to the about.txt and open that up quickly. And you can see here's the accordion. So we have a content, the content object. We have our items in there. Each item is again an object with a summary and the details. We have our unique ID. We have um, the hidden state and we have our custom accordion type. This is really nice because it is really well structured and we can now work with this in our templates. And how does 
that look. If you've not watched the last video, you should maybe jump back to that now. If you have seen it, you already remember how we can create snippets for custom blocks or snippets for blocks in general. They are stored inside snippets and then in a subfolder called blocks. And we already created a custom block um, snippet for our heading. And now we want to create a custom block snippet for our accordion. So I'm going to do that. And it has to have the same name as the type. And then inside here, I have full access to the content that I just showed you. And as I said before, what I want to do is I want to create details and they have a summary. And this is, I think this is a genius um, HTML element or a set of elements that has nice accordion features already built in. And so that would be the summary, some summary here, and then the details go down here. Pretty straightforward. And for our accordion, we don't just create one of those elements, we create multiple ones because we have stored multiple items. So ideally we would have one for them, for that and one for that. And for each additional one, of course, there should also be more. We call it items and inside the block snippet, we have access to our um, block object. And from there on, we can access all the fields. So in this case, the items field. And the items field is a structure field. And in Kirby, structure fields need the to structure method to turn them into a full featured um, structure object collection, which we can then use to for each sub item. So as each item here, let's close the and the for each loop. Oops. So now we create individual details and summary items for each one in our structure field. And we can go from the item element and take our summary fields that we've defined for each item. And we also have our details field. And that's pretty much it. This is all we need to create our accordion. Let's see if it works. Maybe I just messed something up and I'm just saying that it's going to be easy and it isn't. If I open the template, yeah, it's working. Um, the accordion is appearing at exactly the position where I thought it should appear and it does what I want. So it creates my details and my summary and HTML is great and it already adds the interactivity to this without me adding any JavaScript or anything else. So now we could style this, we could turn it into a really beautiful accordion and then we would be done basically. Of course, inside our snippet, we could also do something like this. Maybe we need a bit more CSS styling control inside our blog. However you want to do this, put on your Tailwind classes or whatever you prefer. Um, yeah, and that's it. So we created a custom block, even a not too simple one one that uses sub items structure a structure field to create those items we can move it around we can create custom html for it we can add more data to it and it perfectly integrates into our rich text block and that is great as a next option you might wonder but how do I create those really nice um, what you see is what you get inline blocks that we define for our default blocks? Because this is cool and all, but how would it look like if we had yeah, like real rich text editing for this as well? And this is a topic for um, plugins, basically. So if you want to have rich text editing previews for your blocks, for your custom blocks, you would need to go into plugin territory. And this is something for another video because otherwise this one would get way too long and way too complicated. But yeah, let's just see, see you in the next video. And maybe that one is another one about plugins. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.